Hey everyone and welcome to Comic Breakdown. If you are new to the channel, please do me a favor, hit that sub button, hit that notification bell, make sure that you're not missing any of the content that we have coming out. And today, we are going to be diving into X-Men Ten of Swords Part 20 of 22. This is also X-Men issue number 15. Now, if you guys haven't been keeping up on this line, be sure to check out my playlist. It's in the description. It's at the top of this video. Today, the last three issues were released. And I have to tell you, like, these last three issues are, are everything that I was hoping Ten of Swords was going to be. And it took way too many issues to get here, but we finally got here, and I'm really excited. And so where we last left off was Apocalypse and Annihilation, a.k.a. Genesis, Apocalypse's wife, were the final confrontation, was the final contest in the in this ridiculousness that we can, we can, if we can even call it a contest. And everything's all tied up. So this match really determines who the winner will be. So without further ado, let's dive into this issue. So diving into this one, we pick up on Krakoa, and we see Cyclops talking to Jean. And they're pretty much just saying, you know, are you ready to do this? We, we need to get our family. We, we, everything we've done, everything we've sacrificed up to this point will be for nothing if, if we don't do what needs to be done here. And so these two head through the portal and they head to the Quiet Council. And what they're doing here at the Quiet Council is going, maybe, maybe not necessarily to, to ask permission, but to let the Quiet Council know what their intentions are moving forward and what information they have from Cable before they were disconnected telepathically. And this is where we cut over to Otherworld. And on Otherworld, we see Genesis and Apocalypse preparing for battle. She takes off her helm, and these two begin to fight. Now, picking back up with the Quiet Council, Jean is explaining to, to Professor X, to Magneto, to everybody on the Council, exactly what Cable had told them. And what Cable had told them at the time was that there was no chance of them winning. He had no hope in his heart whatsoever. He really truly believed that th this was the end. It was done from here on out and that there was no coming back and that they're going to have to pre prepare for war, prepare for an invasion. And so Magneto asked them, like, so you want to go get your son? And Cyclops' reply is simply, no, I don't want to go get him. I'm going to go get him. Like, we are letting you guys know as a courtesy and as part of the council because this is part of something bigger. But at the end of the day, we are going to save our son. But it's so much more than that because they're losing badly. And so the plan here is to try to get there and save everybody they can and destroy the portal upon their return. Because if this is done, then no invasion force can ever come through. But we're talking about the, the possibility of extremely high casualties here. Now, they all sit here and, and bicker and discuss... You know, the, the cost-benefit analysis of this entire situation on if it would be smart for them to go through. They are part of the Quiet Council. You know, other members of the Quiet Council also want to go to the to on this rescue mission. So, what they do is essentially hold a vote. And the vote says that anybody that joins in this crusade will be off of the council. And so, Gene and Cyclops pretty much convince everybody that wants to go with them to stay... And they go on their own. Because at the end of the day, it doesn't matter what the cost is. They may be the quiet council. They may be the government of, of Krakoa and all of that in, in that regard. But at the end of the day, he is still an X-Man. All of them are X-Men. And they're going to save as many people as possible, no matter what the cost. Now, picking back up with Genesis and Apocalypse. These two have literally just been duking it out. And we see Apocalypse take a pretty nasty cut on his arm. But he seems to be holding his own for a significant amount of time. Before she swings her sword and just shatters his in half. And she asks if he yields, and he says that he'll never yield, that he's not afraid, he'll never doubt. And with a swift blow, takes her sword and drives it through her side. And as she lay, 
bleeding out on the ground, begging for Apocalypse to, to spare her the shame and to put her out of her misery, he says that he doesn't want this. What would be the true shame is a millennia of years waiting for this reunion and for it to all end like this. And he tells Saturnine, I don't want this. This is not what I, what I wanted. And while he says this, the mask, Annihilation, makes its way to Genesis's head. And so the fight is far from over, it seems, because with the helm being put on her head, she's rejuvenated. Even though this isn't necessarily something she wants to do, the, the, the helm is persuading her, controlling her, seducing her into doing this. And so she has no other option. She has no other choice. And that will be where this issue ends. So let me know what you guys think down in the comments. Personally, I really did enjoy this. You know, we're seeing the build up to what's going to be an absolutely amazing freaking battle. And there, there's quite a few little twists in here that people aren't necessarily going to be expecting, which is going to be really exciting. You know, this comic really, really showed us two different things here. It showed us, one, what it means to be an X-Men. What it means to, to sacrifice everything, no matter what the cost. And two, it showed us Apocalypse. It showed him, this whole event, it showed him as, as someone who has a sensitive, sensitive side. Who is more loving and caring than he likes to portray. And and his hard case persona is all simply because he's trying to make the mutants stronger for what was to come. What it What is upon them now with Ameth and everything else. So yeah, if you guys have not yet, please be sure to hit that sub button. Hit that notification bell. Like this video if you enjoyed the content that we have coming out. And until the next video.